Yeah, right now we're in the protected garden area, so where the deer are kept out by a bit of welded wire and then some old electric fencing wire just strung around the post. So this is the bottom, the lower half. So this was the original beds that I built last year. And I kind of did them on contour and uh, kind of terraced. So there's two or three beds there. But this gorgeous stand of plants is Jerusalem artichoke. And they're upwards of, I think about six feet high right now. But uh, just exploding, but believe it or not, this was not planned by me. This is actually, hang on, I'll stay back here for a second. This is actually the work of the voles, which uh, at first I was cursing them because I thought they had completely wiped out my little stand, which originally started just four plants back over here. And a nice, healthy stand of Jerusalem artichoke, J-chokes. And I thought the bulls wiped them out and I was cursing them. And then this spring, guess what? They had just simply moved a whole bunch of this. I'm sure they ate some of the tubers too, but they moved a whole bunch and planted this whole stand. So all this was planted by the bulls. Just crazy. They went from me cursing them and trying to think of ways to kill them, which I think barn cats showed up and did the job, and that's why so many of these J chokes survived. But went from cursing them to they're yeah, basically allies in my gardening here. Planted a whole bunch of food for me. Then I think the cats got them, so that's the way it works around here. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous stand. Like I said, huge and tall and home to so much life in here. All sorts of little buzzing things and crawling things. And really healthy. We've also got a whole bunch of borage back here that self-seeded from last year. This was one plant that at the end of the bed, those J-chokes had just taken over. There's a gooseberry somewhere in there. Hoping it'll survive. I might need to open it up a bit for it. This borage self-seeded, and the bees love this too. The flowers are edible for us. Apparently the leaves too, the tea or something, but a little spiky. The flowers are nice though, it tastes like cucumber. A little hint of nectar. So yeah, jay chokes. J-choke forest planted by voles. I didn't do anything. <laughs>